Hi everyone, this is Blake Anderson, and in this video I'm going to go through how you can use the Zoom F3 in uh, your Zoom calls so that you can get a high quality recording. This allows you to get an external kind of recording on your Zoom F3 and plug it directly into your computer so that you're both getting you know, the feed from your Zoom, but also from the F3, you're getting a separate recording. So in this video, I'm going to go through the steps of how you can set this up for yourself. Uh, it's very, I would say it's very simple once you get going. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect the Zoom F3 into a MacBook and then how you can record a separate audio track on the Zoom F3 uh, as well if you want on the Mac as well. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day. Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I connect the Zoom F3 to my MacBook. So here I have the Zoom F3 and I also have, you know, a Thunderbolt USB-C uh, cord. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, connect, you see here, the uh, USB 3 port. You know, you're going to connect that into your MacBook. And then the second step is what you're going to do is so once the uh, Zoom F3 is connected to your MacBook, what you're going to do is you're going to go into the menu system. So by clicking menu here, you're going to go into the USB audio I slash F. So you're going to click into that and then it's going to give you two options here, PC, Mac or tablet. So I'm going to click into Mac and there USB card OK. So then the MacBook is going to recognize uh, the Zoom F3 as a source. Now I'm going to go on my MacBook and show you how you connect it uh, as a source. So on my computer I have what's called the Sound Source, um, which is an app by Rollmeta. And Sound Source is an app that allows you to connect, you know, different, like control all your different uh, devices, sound sources on your uh, MacBook. So in this case, I want to have an input. So I'm going to use right here, it's going to be the Zoom F3 driver, right? So this way I have an input of the microphone as uh, a source. But let's say I want to do a Zoom call, right? Now, in order to connect your you know, source, see here, you can uh, connect to your microphone as your Zoom F3. And then you can also select the speaker as your Zoom F3. Now, if you're going to use, you know, the uh, Zoom F3 as your speaker, you're going to connect, you know, your headphones to this jack here. And so that's how you connect your Zoom calls. So what you can do is you can have this as a source, right? But you can also record directly on the Zoom F3 as you're you know, making a call. So that way you have a separate audio source. And another app that I use often is called it's called Audio Hijack. And so what Audio Hijack does is they actually came out with a new app recently, uh, Audio Jack 4. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to create you know, different funnels and different workflows in terms of how you want to record on your MacBook. So in this case, I just want to record my system audio. And I could also you know, record the input device is a separate channel. So two separate audio. Um, so one would be on the F3 and then the second one would be on um, the just the computer audio. That way I'd have two separate audio recordings um, as an output. So this way I'm recording both on my MacBook, the system audio, and also my Zoom F3 audio. So I'll have two separate backup tracks, I would say, for my microphone. But then I also have a high 32-bit recording on my Zoom F3. So this is a very simple way for you to add a microphone to your workflow, uh, to your Zoom calls, so that if you wanted to record a Zoom call or a Microsoft Team call, you can easily do that using the Zoom F3. So one last thing to show you is when you do select uh, or you add uh, the Zoom F3 as a source to your computer, you're gonna, if you wanna click the menu, you can see that there's an option here for loopback. So what that does is that's going to 
combine if it's on the um, you know allows you to combine your computer audio with the F3 uh, as, a, as, a, as a kind of a com combined source. If you just want to have it as a separate source, you would uh, turn it off. So that's an important uh, feature on the Zoom F3 to consider.